See, I touch it, the shit burns my finger. Where is it? I go over there, touch it, the shit burns my finger. Y'all see that, right? This shit burns with my finger. That shit still, I should have sued their asses. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Araya, and I know this looks familiar. It is because I am bulk filming because the weekends belong to me and Bay and my kids. So the weekends stay for us. Um, but you will get a video with the same look, most likely Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, the Q&A will be up Sunday for those of you who are asking. Um, I think that the husband tag, I'm going to get Jose to do the husband tag with me. So that will be up this weekend also. And yeah, let's get into day five of my story time week. And this is going to be the last story time of the week. So when I say it's a story time week, I mean literally Monday through Friday. I didn't film on Monday um, because I was out in Newark, you know, having fun with my family or whatever like that. Um, so I extended it until Saturday. That's why you're going to get a story time today on Saturday. Um, but yeah, this is day five. I will do more story time weeks uh, coming, like in the coming uh, months. We are going on vacation at the end of August. And Sky Santana will be on vacation with me because he is my family. So if you guys want to see us vlog that, make sure you let me know. And I'll put a bug in his ear to vlog the vacation. Uh, because I'm sure he's going to be super turned up and he ain't going to want to vlog. But you know, I'm going to be semi-turned up because you know I got kids. So I can maybe vlog, vlog and like we can use footage. But we'll see. Um, yeah, so day five of story time is going to be on my AliExpress horror story. And so let's jump into it. Back when Virgin Hair first started coming out, nobody really in Newark knew shit about bundles. Like, nobody was up on the bundles. I was up on bundles because I was watching YouTube videos. And one of the first people I saw do a hair review on bundles was Lakia Star. Shout out to Lakia Star. Y'all know I love her. Like, I love Lakia so much. Uh, if you don't know who Lakia Star is, you're living under a rock, but I will link her channel down below. Uh, but she was one of the first people I saw with bundles of hair. So I saw that and I'm like, okay, I don't need to go to the beauty supply store if I can get hair that may cost like $400, but it'll last me for like a year. You crazy? All I gotta do is keep washing it. I could dye it. I'm gonna get me some bundles. So I started searching for bundles of hair. And you guys know when you search for bundles of hair, AliExpress comes up. That's how it was then, and that's how it still is. All of the qualities that I'm looking for in the hair, Lakia Star listed. I list, I made my own list, like a checklist. And when I'm looking for hair, I'm checking it off like, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I find this company on AliExpress. They're no longer on AliExpress. It was like Princess Hair something. Of, it was something like that. But they're not on um, AliExpress anymore. Thank God. Um, so yeah, I found them. I had got Brazilian straight hair. I had got three bundles. I got a bundle of 18, 20, and 22. And I, mm, that's inches. That's inches on me, bitch. <laughs> so I'm souped the fuck up. Like, souped up. Telling my aunt to everybody. My cousin's like, yeah, I'm about to get Brazilian hair or whatever like that. Like, I'm about to get some Brazilian hair. So I ordered the hair. Uh, was this when I was working at Wendy's? I don't know. No, I was working at the shoe store where I slapped that bitch. <laughs> I was working at the shoe store when I was, I was making like a lot of money. Um, I think that's the first job I was making like $12, $13 an hour, something like that. So I was making like a lot of money. Um, and uh, I'm like, shit, I could afford the virgin hair. So I get paid that Thursday night, like 11 30 at night on Friday. I order like 11 35 because <laughs> I was super excited. Like, it was like virgin hair, like, nobody in my city like was up on that shit like that nobody was up on that shit yet like nobody when everybody saw me with like not this hair like the hair that i got after that like they was like oh shit where you get that from i was so excited like yeah like i'm about to start a wave ah. <laughs> but i ordered it and it said that it would take i didn't know it was coming from china this is the first time i ordered off aliexpress this is the first time i ordered hair online i didn't know it was coming from china so it said that it would take 15 to 30 businesses. And I'm like, bitch, where? This is after I ordered it, guys. And it's like, but I can get my money back. 15 to 30 businesses. And I'm like, 
So you know this is when it first started, like before the DHL and shit like that. It did come DHL, but I'll get to that. And I'm like, oh my God, that is a long time. So maybe it'll come sooner. So I ordered that Thursday night. And the whole weekend, I'm like, oh my God. I kept checking it, kept checking it. It didn't process yet, but they took my money. So Monday rolls around and it finally said that it was processed. And I'm like, oh, maybe it'll be here before um, before it said it was. So I'm like, okay, it's processed. Mind you, I'm at work checking this shit on my phone. Tuesday, it said it was shipped. And it said it was shipped DHL. And I'm like, and I start Googling it like, DHL, how fast does that come? It comes pretty fast. So I'm like, oh shit, I'm gonna get my hair this week. I'm gonna get my hair this week. Literally, I was tracking it like every hour. I was ODing on it, like, cause I was so excited. I was ODing on that shit. That was Tuesday. That Thursday, it had finally updated that my package was in Kearney and would be delivered the next day. So I'm like, yes! I'm about to get my virgin hair. I'm about to get my virgin hair. Like, I was so stupid. And I'm like, that shit only took a week. Ew, let's go. So that Friday comes. I took off work, guys. <laughs> work that Friday so that I would be home to get my package. Well, I was so super extra gassed and I shouldn't have been super extra gassed because the next part is like nastily, nasty, nasty, motherfucking nasty. And that Friday I'm just waiting. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. So UBS truck I saw, FedEx truck I saw, mailman I saw, the fucking DHL truck. So I'm like, damn. By the time seven o'clock come, I check the package again. It's, I check the tracking again. It still say that it's on the truck for delivery. So I, like, I don't know no people to deliver this late. Nine o'clock come, y'all. You here? That's my package. And I'm like, thank you. Snatch out the man here, sign, send him on his way. Cause I want my fucking hair, y'all took forever. So I go to the kitchen table, get some scissors, bust that yellow package open. And as soon as I open this package, y'all, Oh my God, as soon as I open the package, it's like, it was the worst smell I've ever smelled in my motherfucking life. It smelled like corn chip, funyun, gravy, soup. Like, who washed their feet with my motherfucking hair? Who did that? I just don't get it. Like, who did that shit? It was nasty, and I'm just like, ew. Like I just, if you just, every time you move the bag, the, if you could see smells like on cartoons and shit, every time I move the bag, you'll see that shit. And it was just nasty, and I'm like, I take it to the sink, and I empty it out in the sink, and it just dropped, poop, poop, poop. It wasn't an individually wrapped bag or anything like that. The bundles was like tied, and like, you know how bundles come. It was tied like that. But it wasn't individually wrapped. Pick up the bundles and I'm just like, I have two in this hand, one in this hand. I'm just like, and like the hair smells rank. I throw it down, I throw it in the sink and then I begin to run the water on it. When I put the water on it, guys, when I put the water on the fucking hair, I hate these motherfucking bugs so much. It's making my skin crawl, like thinking about it. When I put the water on the hair, a little flat red brown bug falls out of the hair. Y'all know what those kind of bugs is? Bed bugs. Bed motherfucking bugs. Little fat, flat, red, brown motherfucker. And I'm just like, nah, nigga, nah. Who the fuck living inside this bag that you got a full ass belly? I busted this shit full of blood and I'm just like, I just spent $350 on this hair. Like, I just spent $350 on this hair. I just spent $350 on this hair. I did, I did, I did. And I'm like, fuck it, like, I washed that one motherfucker down the drain. <laughs> oh, I was not hardly about to not wear the, like, I was not about to not keep that hair, like, I just, it's dirty. I know it's dirty. I know it's whatever. Like y'all call me dirty. I was dirty. I didn't 
Let me get to the next part. So I washed the little motherfucker down the drain, throw it back in the garbage, wash the hair. I had to wash that hair three times, y'all, to get that smell out. Like three times. And if y'all know me, y'all know I do not like black hair, so I dye all my hair. Like black hair is just not my thing. It used to be my thing before my mother let me break colors. But as soon as I got blonde hair in my hair, I was so that was it. So I let the hair air dry and I watched the Kid Stars how to lift black hair to like platinum blonde and I'm following it step by step I got all the stuff that she used I got the gloves that she used I got everything that she used and I laid it out and I'm watching while I'm doing so I'm not messing anything up so yo start it goes on fine and I'm just like okay okay and you can kind of start to see it lift automatically so Lakia starts says fold the um the aluminum for you. I fold the aluminum for you. And I turn away. She said she left her on it for like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I'm like, but y'all got time. I'm gonna make me some oodles and noodles. Bitch, you know I like oodles and noodles, salt, pepper, hot sauce. <laughs> so I go, I'm in the kitchen anyway. I was I dyed the hair in the dining room on the dining room table. The kitchen is right next to it. Go in the kitchen, start making my shit. I smell something. Smell like feet burning. Like it smell like corn chips on fire. So I'm just like Okay. Maybe it's just me. I did just wash that funky ass hair yesterday. Maybe the smell still lingering. And I smell it again. I turn around, bitch. I turn around. I turn around. And the motherfucking woman before you is puffed all the way up. And you can see smoke coming from it. And I'm like, what the fuck? I go over there. I touch it. The shit burns my finger. Where is it? over there touch it the shit burns my finger y'all see that right the shit burns my finger that shit still i should assume they has shit burns my finger and i'm like okay let me i get a, a, a oven mitt open up the shit the shit is crispy it's blonde but it went from 18 inches to 14 inches yo i never seen no hair do that shit in my life i never seen that happen in my life ever I've never seen that happen to hair in my life. Unless that shit was like 100% off the fucking horse's ass. I know how like braid in here, if you burn it, like it'll shrivel up. Maybe that's what it was. Like that bitch sent me braid in here. I was so mad. Like I was so hurt. I was crying. It was annoying. I didn't tell Jose because he would have like, I told you so. You brought me off the internet. You spent 300 some dollars. Da -la -la -la. So what I did was I got on my computer. I contacted the seller and sent her pictures and everything like that. I assumed it was a her. I sent her him, sent them pictures, and she was like, oh, I'm sorry, we'll give you a refund. Raise your hand if you know what the refund it was giving me. Just raise your hand, raise your hand, raise your hand. $3.50. I ain't got time for this. I can't fight you over the internet, but you in China, so I got one better for you. I called PNC and reported fraud on my motherfucking card. I got my three fifty dollars back. Okay, bitch, mm -hmm. I don't know. That's why they're not there no longer. Like, I'm sure they had hella customer complaints. And I know they were just getting started Started with the version here. But bitch, don't tell me this 9A Brazilian straight, 100% virgin. If that shit 100% off the horse's ass. That's not how it works, friends. And they always be like, I'm sorry, friend. Shut the fuck up. I'm not your friend. Like, I'm not your friend. You gave me fucked up hair. I'm not your friend. I'll never be your friend. Like, if you fucking with my weave, my man, or my kids, or my coin, I will never be your friend. I will never be your friend, friend. <laughs> but, yeah, so, bitch gave me $3.50. <laughs> she gave me the $3.50 back. I got the $3.50 back from my bank because, you know, if you have a bank account and you buy shit online, make sure you have protection for yourself because you never know what these fraud-ass companies be trying to do with your coin or what product they're giving you that's not accurate. But yeah, so it was a bed bug in my fucking head, which I overlooked. I overlooked the smell, but bitch, I'm not gonna overlook that shit catching on fire. It was on fire, friends. Friends. Friend. Friends. It was on fire. Literally. But if I, that shit probably was about to blow up. The aluminum for you was like this, like big. And it burnt my hand. This, this is gonna be here forever. This is gonna be here forever. I should sue that bitch. <laughs> What if I wanted to be a hand model? So that is my AliExpress horror story, guys. <laughs> that is my AliExpress horror story. And that story concludes story time week. 
this is my first story time week and it will not be my last one i really enjoyed it it was a lot of work filming every single day and editing every single day but yeah i was so excited about this story time week and i did want to ask you guys uh do you think that i should get a p.o box because my birthday is coming up and i've never really gotten a lot of cars and i know some of you guys inboxed me and said that you guys wanted to send me a birthday card but i can't give you my address sorry so let me know if you guys want me to open up a p.o box so that you guys can send me birthday cards i would really really love that because nobody really got me a bunch of cards for my birthday like ever um so like I really would like cards from you guys. I'm gonna read it. You can send me letters. Send me if you wanna to talk to me and you want me to write you back about um something you're going through. I give really dope advice. Like, bitch, I done been through it all. I can give you advice advice about any and everything because I've been through any and I've been through a lot of stuff, y'all. So yeah, let me know down in the comment section below when you want if you want me to do another story time week. Should I open up a P.O. box? And let me know if y'all have some Abbey Church Horror Stories because I'm sure y'all have. Everybody's had one. I'm sure. But make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Make sure you are following me on Snapchat so you can see what I'm doing with me and my kids and Jose. And yeah, just watch me. Um, that is Raya underscore her. My Instagram is underscore simply Mariah. And my Twitter is Raya twice. At Raya twice. I fuck it up every time. R I Y A H T W I. I love you guys much and I will talk to you later. 